What's good? What's good, everyone? It's Young Reno, the Rookie Chef. And I'm back again with another highlight video. You know what I mean? Highlight video episode number nine. All right. It is early, early, early Monday morning here, meaning it's after midnight. So I decided to just do this now instead of waiting until we get into the middle of next week. Middle of the week, I should say. Uh, because I got some more cooking videos on the way, but I wanted to do some highlighting this time right now, okay? So we got our next three co-chefs in our YouTube family of chefs, and we're going to be highlighting all three of them. We're going to be highlighting uh, Chef Sip and Feast, Chef Tennessee Nikki, and also Chef Rockstar Eater, who pretty much... I call him chef because he has something to do with food. You know, I like to always identify that way. But uh, Rockstar Eater, he likes to get out there, visit places, uh, sh you know, show off good, good foodie places and places you can go, things you can try. Very, very entertaining to watch his channel and pay him a visit, all right? So just like uh, the, last, the last one we did um, with Art Fennel, you know what I mean? Uh, they just like to go out there and do their thing, you know, do their thing in entertainment. Show us where to go. Show us what to look at, you know. So he's very entertaining. Love his channel. So y'all will see. Y'all will see. I'm trying to highlight our chefs and also um, the ones who get out there and introduce places and good foods to us as well. So that we can watch and get, also get ideas to cook from watching what they got to show. All right. So with all due delay. Let's get this highlighting episode on the road. Today we're gonna to make a lemon garlic shrimp pasta. This one is delicious and it's really easy to make. Here's the ingredients, there's not too many of them. Let's get to prepping it right now. The shrimp, these are U21, 25, so about 25 to a pound. Here's a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper, and we'll put a little black pepper on there too. Just mix it all together and we'll let this sit for about 10 minutes. All right, guys, I always like to go over the ingredients, and this is a, a simple one. There's really not a lot of stuff here. I'm using a half a pound of pasta today. I know almost 99% of my recipes use a full pound, but the written recipe on my site has a half pound, so I didn't feel like updating that and changing it. The only thing is that it has a pound of shrimp. Here I have two pounds. I'm just making more shrimp. We don't need to use that many. Basically, I think a pound of shrimp would probably be good for a half a pound of pasta. So I use the brine, basically it changes the pH level a little bit of the shrimp. I think it works. I've been doing this for a long time. I like the results. We have garlic, I did about six cloves, sliced thin, lemon juice, that's the juice of one lemon, zest of one lemon. I like a lot of lemon flavor in this one. Lemon and garlic flavor. I'm not using wine in this one, guys. Please, by all means, use it if you like. I've been getting a lot of comments lately saying like, do you never <laughs> not cook with wine? Well. We're not cooking with wine today. Parsley, it's about a quarter cup or maybe a half a cup. Minced, nice freshness to it. We have about a half a stick of butter that I cubed. So cubing it will allow it to melt a little quicker when we put it in the sauce at the end. It's really simple. Get your pasta water to a boil right now because shrimp are only gonna take a few minutes. All right guys, gonna use a 12 inch pan because it's a half a pound of pasta. We don't need that 14 inch pan. I'm gonna put it to about a four out of 10 here and then let your pan get hot for about three minutes before you put oil down so nothing sticks. Simple as that. So it's been about three minutes, the pan's hot enough. Okay, just a little bit of oil we need. There y'all have it y'all. Here is his channel. Chef Sip and Feast. This is his channel right here. He has a whole lot of good yumminess on his channel. A uh, lot of good stuff, y'all. A lot of good stuff. You can go there and learn a lot. Make sure y'all go visit this chef and let him know the rookie chef sent you because he's a great guy and he got a lot of good stuff going on. Y'all go to his channel and finish up the video y'all was just watching. That highlight video I was just showing y'all, wait till you see the results. Wait till you see the end. I've watched it. And that came out yummy goodness at the end. You know I keep y'all in suspense. Go check it out. Way to go. Chef Sip and Feast, you're the man. Or should I say, you're the chef. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
All right, y'all. So next up, we have Chef Tennessee Nikki. Let me tell y'all something about Chef Tennessee Nikki. She is very fun. She has this beautiful, beautiful attitude about herself. She makes y'all get into her videos. She's a very lovable person. You know what I mean? She commented on some of my videos. And I just got to say, I'm so honored to honor to highlight her channel, you know, on episode nine, right? You know, y'all thought my strawberry waffle sandwich was good. Y'all remember when I did that on my channel? A lot of y'all like that strawberry waffle uh, sandwich, right? She made, okay, look here. She made a honey bun breakfast sandwich, all right? I thought that was creative, <laughs> very creative, right? I might have would have thought of something like that later, but I didn't this time. She did, and she used a Little Debbie's. I love Little Debbie's. I love Little Debbie's chocolate Swiss rolls. Little Debbie got them Swiss rolls. Little Debbie got them strawberry rolls, and she got those uh, um, uh, those honey buns too. And she took the honey buns from Little Debbie's and made a breakfast sandwich. And I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> it came out fire. Y'all going to just have to watch the whole video to see. But for now, we're going to highlight her. And so y'all can see who this chef is. All right. Chef Tennessee, Nikki, let them, let them explain to them what I'm talking about. y'all go y'all that is chef tennessee nikki that's her channel right there y'all so y'all can see she is very very fun to watch she has a really cool attitude she make you laugh she make you enjoy and she keep she keeps you entertained right so y'all make sure y'all go finish that video out i'm gonna tell y'all that uh that 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 honey bun breakfast sandwich you know what? You know I like to leave y'all in suspense. Y'all, you need to go her to her channel and finish that video. It came out fire, y'all. I'm telling you, it came out good. You know what? I made my little strawberry uh, waffle sandwich. I was a little jealous. I said, oh, my God. Chef Tennessee, Nikki, what you doing over there with that? You know, 
Love, love me some uh, some Chef Tennessee Nikki. She 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 got a lot of good creative ideas, and I love her. I love the way she think. All right, y'all go check her out, y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Um, and make sure y'all let her know the rookie chef sent you. Okay, thank you. All right, all right, y'all. Next up is Chef Rockstar Eater. Or just say Rockstar uh, Chef Steve, right? Um, he's not really portraying himself as a chef, but I know he can cook. I know he can cook because he go around looking at all these good places that make all these good foods. I know he is chef behind the scenes. That's why I'm going to call him a chef. <laughs> but you know what? Let me tell y'all something about Rockstar Eater. He has some good highlighting places of foods. Y'all got to go check his channel out. Go check his channel out. And you know why I'm highlighting him? It's because, you know what? He actually uh, visits my channel. He comments. You know what I mean? So it is my pleasure to highlight uh, this person. Because you know what? He His video, he, he takes you on tours to places that he visits that has some really, really good food, y'all. So if y'all go visit that city or town or whatever, you'll know where to go. You'll know where to go. He's good at what he's do. He got a lot of good stuff on his channel. So y'all make sure to go pay him a visit, all right? But for now, let's go ahead and introduce him. He is going to be my last and final highlighted chef on my highlighting our cold chefs in uh, the, the, the Young Reno family on the YouTube chefs, all right? Let's go. Uh, Steve. I'm, I'm a, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to highlight you as chef, Steve, go ahead and let them know what you do and what you're talking about. Let's go. Look at this amazing sushi platter at one of the hot new sushi restaurants in Los Angeles. This is truly one of the new undiscovered great sushi restaurants in Los Angeles. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am back out here in Studio City on Ventura Boulevard because I'm going to be ending out my 10-part series on the best and most unique sushi spots that you can find in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's been such a crazy ride trying all these great sushis from all over town. And I'm ending it out with a bang at this new sushi restaurant called Yume Sushi. This place, I've heard a lot of buzz about. It's a very new sushi restaurant. It opened up pretty recently, but a lot of people have been saying that it has really great sushi, sashimi, even a great uh, beer and sake list. So this is the episode you got to watch if you want to see one of the hottest new sushi restaurants in Los Angeles. So stick all the way to the end so that you can see this awesome sushi feast I'm about to have here at Yume Sushi Bar. And also if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe because I release these food and travel videos weekly. You don't want to miss out on so go ahead, do that right now. And I just got to this restaurant. It is sushi time. So there y'all have it, y'all. That is Rockstar Eater in the house. You know I'm going to still label him as a chef because I know he can cook. Behind the scenes, he can cook. Don't think he can. He can. It's a pleasure having you, Rockstar. You know, thank you for visiting my channel and, and, and showing me love. And I'm showing you love, too, because I'm highlighting you here on episode nine. All right. Y'all go make sure y'all go visit his channel. Make sure y'all share, like and subscribe. He got a guy. He got a lot of good stuff on his channel. I got a lot of good places you can go eat. If you're visiting any city that he's there, he's going to show you where to go. OK, that is my bro right there. Love you always, my bro. Keep doing what you do. The rookie chef love you. All right. Make sure y'all let him know the rookie chef sent you to his channel. All right, let's go. All right, all right, y'all. That's it for now. Thank you for tuning in for another rookie chef adventure of highlighting our co-chefs, you know, uh, on our YouTube family. You know, I'm proud to always be able to highlight um, our YouTube chefs out there and also our YouTube uh 
the ones who go out there and highlight restaurants and go visit places and stuff, you know, you're a part of the family too, because we all like to know where to go. When we don't want to, when we, when we don't want to cook and we want to go someplace and treat ourselves, that's why I highlight some of these, uh, other great people here on YouTube where you can have an opportunity to see where they go and what they're recommending. So you can go there too for yourself. All right. So next week we'll have our next three highlights coming up. So for now, I just want to say, make sure you all go share, like, and subscribe to those three chefs that I just highlighted on episode number nine. Let them know the rookie chef sent you. And also chefs, y'all make sure that y'all highlight me on y'all channels too. Let them know about me too. I am new. I'm fairly new, but I'm making sure I show love to everyone. You know, everyone, because I like to make sure everyone is highlighted because, you know, we got a lot of new people coming on YouTube all the time. Just because you have me, uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, viewers and followers. You got new people coming on who don't know you. They're rookies like me. So I'm the one to let them know who you are so that way they can go uh, experiment. And go visit your channel, courtesy of the young uh, of, of the rookie chef, Young Reno. All right, love all of y'all. Hope everybody is staying well. Hope everybody is staying safe. Y'all take care out there. All right. Until next time, I am Young Reno, the rookie chef. I have a new video coming out tomorrow, y'all. Stay blessed. Love y'all.